Perce <clears throat> perception is a heightened state for those naturally superior. Praxis brings a man off his feet. A neutral practice, positive or even aggrandized denial, medication or medical in brackets, and comparison. Perceptive beings continually extend their spectrum of seeing things or adding weight to things which precedes existing infrastructure with praxis, with the advantages seemingly in ever extensive equations eyeing foreign infrastructure as a grand design. Both classes share an emotion shone through like a new family, a corporate family, the age after a disarrayed century of buffers between sensible values, a genetic Trojan horse, explosion of all that is wrong. To clean itself up through denial and science, the words fuse and expand at the same time as beings work their way out of fossilizing contracts. Talk with men of peace on the role of family. Is it a problem to be solved under what conditions? Our days gone by, and tenses never used, a wasted environment. What is meant by day one, day two, and day three? Is there a divide between unanswerable realities? Rewriting history is a pseudo-intellectual activity in the sense that it continues to grow its own intellect or, as Zizek, the author, puts it, spandrels or spandrels. Um, uh, I, I assume the bits left over and relating to what he terms as interspaces uh, or as many would term as interspaces or something along those lines. It is only that a person has the intellectual prowess to assert himself in his extended environment <clears throat> Actual intellect is history compiled into a condition by which the leader is magnified and the environment is a resource. Um, the environment is resourceful. If it is generally true that the environment has collapsed with insignificance, then ask the actual intellectuals what they plan to do about this. How do they propose to clean it up? They would offer no defence to this action, only offence. How do they know that they are right in that <clears throat> without the time to read or study each individual or know the family. Uh, bashful people would proclaim that they possess in themselves a computer or that they are a computer. As a social mechanism, it is correct that humans grow as computing animals, but nobody knows the true definition to what a, man a mainframe is, and it will not matter until the environment is expunged with respect to that matter. Then the environment is free to improve. See things in black or white is a buffer. The buffer extends as a concept in our minds where some of us, to become spiritual or scientific informants, protect ourselves. Psychology defines greater than good or evil but fails to protect it and it can only conceive of scientific partnership of attack and ridicule to further assert itself. Rarely do we understand the words necessary for a public shift and attackers are only seen and not dealt with, just something seen and undone without treatment. Myself, in my opinion, have offered a particle of treatment um, and, a, and a gateway back to uh, the powers that be, or gods, through the mortally claimed defence praxis, as I have so named this video. Intellectual property empowers the individual, but defence is a mortal claim as the minds of the public grow and throw out the figurative skills and defects. Who possesses a figurative skill? Many claim this without performing reliably according to their materialism or patents, their own wrong-headed grasping at abstraction analysis and competence, as they wipe out these terms by claiming that those who are branded misinformants are themselves not capable of terming or understanding these terms. Is there such aspect as multicoloured proletariat? The demands of democracy continue to surface. Every birth is democratic and every score equal. Is this a metaphor? 
The Proletariat Continuum Hive is a proposed construction, comical as such because it is not a serious suggestion, but only the words seem to make sense. Learning actually is turned into choices to entice people's interests. Humans are greater calculators than computers, so to speak, but as computers entice in humans, then it follows that computers make more choices. Confidence, I would say, is a machine attribute, while localism is a human confidence. Common learning methods see outcomes and <clears throat> learning quanta as stable and in reverse at the same time for this reason. So, dopamine should be a European invention and is one of the fueling factors of EU dissent. It is the invention of dopamine that undermines motives and the classification of dopamine as such. Confidence and prowess are strengths. Great leaders are, are strengths. Great leaders are forgotten eventually, but not without a fight in the minds of the many, or minds of many, however you wish to term it. Computers can never record every fight. This is why machines will at some point do the work for us, but only in a manner of speaking, without necessarily the need for computing singularity. Two clashing elements are apparently environmental singularity and the singularity of human mannerisms. Such is the effect of the EU classifications of dopamine, presumably. However, that's a side issue and a side point amended to what I had written vocally just now. As in, vocally amended to what I have written physically. And so, after that second part, I will now resume onto the third part shortly after that has garnered your attention. Thank you.